on today <laughs> we're gonna be talking about the shit show of a holiday that I had now as I told you guys I used to hate the holidays I had legitimate trauma with the holidays I've talked about this at length on all my channels but I did a dedicated video about it maybe two years ago on my Haitian channel so feel free to reference that video is going to be linked down below short story long okay or I feel like it's gonna be long even though it should be a short story that's why I say short story long I have a family that essentially can't do shit but fight argue and cause fucking problems all right so let me just say this right off the bat i still love my family but at the same time i i gotta start keeping my distance from motherfuckers because it's coming to a point where it's like damned if you do damned if you don't and when you actually try people really try you okay and i'm entering the era of i'm not about to overextend myself anymore right i've come to this realization that my family in particular has consistently gaslighted the fuck out of me in terms of making me feel like me voicing my opinions me calling people out me standing up for myself me just being outspoken in general is such a horrible thing that makes me a horrible person and it, <laughs> i'm over it like i'm so fucking over it. and i realize that's why i overextend myself i give more gifts than usual i'm over really nice to certain people or in certain situations because I realized that I've been told all my life that I was such a horrible person but over time especially these past two years I realized I was never a horrible person as a matter of fact I'm pretty damn decent okay like I, I am a good person and it's crazy because I always say you know good people don't have to go around saying they're good people so you'll probably absolutely never hear me say that again but just to get you guys to understand like my train of thought and why for the most part I have haven't been going off as much as a lot of you guys would love to see me going the fuck off it's because i've been gaslighting my whole life to think that i was a bad person and me being outspoken me being this that and the third is, is a bad thing especially when i get around my family it's like even worse because they were the ones that made me feel that way especially the adults every time their kids would stand up for themselves they would apparently use the line of you're acting like ivana now let me just say this right now okay because i know there's gonna be some people that see this video they catch a fence they feel some type of way and i don't give a flying fuck anymore we're entering 2023 with the energy that is me okay i feel like i'm in low-key kind of like but we're not doing it anymore okay we're not doing it so let me just stay straight up if you feel some type of way about anything i'm about to say in this video i really don't give a flying fuck if you feel some type of way about your life or anything i'm about to say in this video you need to do something with you in regards to people in my family talk about some oh their kids are acting like ivana stop acting like ivana if your kids acted more like ivana they would have a bachelor's they would have a master's they would have a business they would be in relationships they would actually be doing something with their fucking life you want them to act like Ivana. You wish your kids act like Ivana, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? It's just, it's asinine to me. I'm literally one of the very few people in my family that actually went to college. And damn well, one of the very few that actually have a master's and definitely one of the select few that own their own businesses. So I need them to shut the fuck up. So this video is gonna be a little ranty. This video gonna have a lot going on because I've been holding this in for like the past two to three weeks and I feel like anytime I try to talk to somebody about it either they just don't want to hear it they got their own issues going on or it's just another fucking situation I heard this fucking retrograde caca whatever is in Capricorn well they, I, I guess that's why all this caca is happening I know a lot of you guys are probably watching this right now like what's the update with your cousin what's the update with your cousin relax I'm filming that right after this okay but we have to get this one out first because all of this happened first as you guys have known I've always had trauma with the holidays mainly because because my family had this grand old fight where they were breaking furniture on two separate holidays one being Thanksgiving and another being Christmas it's to the point where me and a lot of my cousins do not celebrate the holidays and I'm not talking about no little rinky-dicky punching holes into walls I'm talking about Christmas tree snapped in half 
Thanksgiving tables snapped in half, holes in walls, all types of goofy shit, traumatic, okay? I was the oldest cousin in the room and I was literally wailing, okay? Imagine me wailing, I don't even cry like that. Imagine me wailing, like it was that bad. All of my other cousins were younger than me with the youngest, I believe at the time being six. So you can imagine being a six year old on holidays and seeing adults fighting each other, throwing each other's furniture around to the point where your oldest cousin is wailing. So long story short, we essentially didn't really celebrate Christmas after that. But I will say, I didn't know that a lot of my cousins didn't. I only know my immediate cousins didn't. I have three cousins that I'm pretty close with and we're gonna give them code names. If you know me personally, clearly you're gonna know who these people are, but to protect their safety, we're just gonna give them names, okay? So we have Leonardo, Katie, and JJ, okay? I'm very close to those three. I've been going to their houses since I was a child. And to this day, anytime I feel overwhelmed or stressed, I go straight to PA and I go straight to their house all of these incidents that happened were in new york at a family house that my family owns and the only reason they own that house now is because their grandfather passed away and that grandfather left the house to their father and his two brothers and essentially they've been fighting over that property forever so that's basically all y'all need to know about that it's, it's actually a way longer story and i believe i went through all of that in the video linked down below on my haitian channel right so to be honest i thought it was only me and my three cousins that was traumatized but I had two other cousins we're gonna name them I was about to give them some petty ass names because I'm, I'm really like but I'm like I shouldn't do that let me not do that okay we're gonna call them Hershey <laughs> Twix and Hershey yes I'm thinking about candy right now Twix and Hershey were there they were also um the youngest and we hadn't seen them for a very long time I believe my three other cousins had seen them maybe once in the blue moon like in like five year phases but like all of this happened when I was like 16 okay I haven't seen them since I was like 16 15 whenever the whole thing happen and Twix and Hershey also have an older brother that we are going to have to name Jason I don't know that's the first thing that popped in my head so Jason and JJ okay my other cousin JJ they have like very 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 similar names so it's very annoying because we be like little J and big J like that's how we kind of like differentiate them but nonetheless I used to be very very close with Jason um but then I became really close with my other three cousins mainly Leonardo right I fell off with Leonardo because Leonardo said that the reason I'm successful is because I saw sold my soul to the devil isn't that cute what a lovely fucking family i have right anyways i fell off with him mainly because of that and a, a, a slew of other things but keep that in mind so essentially I believe that my cousins, Katie, Leonardo, and JJ told me that they did see Twix and Hershey maybe a couple months ago, six months ago maybe, like I don't know, sometime last year. And they said that they were just very reserved and they were really, really quiet and they didn't understand why. And I'm like, th those were some jovial kids. Like they were very, very outspoken, very, very like upbeat kids. Now, this is the thing, right? I understand that literally if you see somebody when they're six, they're not gonna be the same when they're fucking 16, right? But when I'm telling you like there'll be behavior from what they described was like completely different it was like closed off like on some like they didn't want to be there or on some like there was something going on type shit apparently they asked Jason because Jason is their older brother like hey we saw your brothers um what's going on with them like why are they so quiet and basically he said oh they've been acting like that ever since you know the whole situation that happened on Christmas and I'm like nigga 10 12 years ago whatever like that was a long time ago and he was like yeah they, I mean they just been real reserved like you know these quiet bitches to themselves also keep in mind JJ okay is one of those popular ass high school kids that love to have people over his house love to have like get togethers gatherings and shit and while Hershey and Twix was there he had friends over so I also thought okay maybe that made them feel uncomfortable also very important to the fucking story me being who I am because I'm Captain Save a Ho I was like you know what it would be great to actually meet up for this Christmas with everyone let's invite Twix let's invite Hershey just and then it'll be the three of us plus me like it's gonna be a big ass shit just like we used to do back in the day because we used to consistently hang out every holiday sometimes for the summer and it was always a grand old time and funny enough sidebar we tried to do this maybe two years ago but we wanted to rent an airbnb do the works and we had another cousin that was supposed to be involved with this but he child that that's for a whole nother story for a whole nother time he done fucked up the vibe he's sitting there talking shit to, to, to people in the family because he has ulterior motives and he used our group 
group chat against us. It's a long story. So we were like, all right, this shouldn't be an issue because it's free. Okay, this is a free trip. We're just coming to the house in PA. And on top of that, I'm going to be picking them up. I live in Jersey. Jason, Hershey, and Twix live in New York, like Long Island, Queens area. And then of course, the other house is in PA where Leonardo, Katie, and JJ live. So I'm like, this is perfect. How could they say no? One thing about me, I, I have really, really strong intuition, discernment, all of that. Something about this shit is easy and simple and relaxed as it sounded i already knew it wasn't going to go well but i was like you know what i'm going to be optimistic that was one of my themes of 2022 being optimistic seeing the bright side of things okay because the last trip did not pan out every single time we try to plan something with these mofos they don't pan out so i was like i don't know if it's gonna work but i really hope it works so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay positive so we text the group chat family group chat we make a new one because we made that new one like three times you, you see the inconsistent fucking theme here anyways we make a new one we add everyone in it and we propose the idea to hershey twix and jason and we're like hey we'd really like to meet up for the holidays what you thinking do you think this is feasible for you y'all got work y'all got school what's going on so twix is like oh i'm gonna bring it up to my brother when i get home so twix is in college hershey's back in high school i believe he's like in his junior or senior year and then jason from what i understand doesn't live there but lives there that's a whole nother mystery in itself i ain't about to get in his business i don't fucking know so i'm sitting here thinking to myself okay you're gonna tell your brother when you get home now this is the thing for those of us who've been in college we understand that most college kids come back from school like pretty early and i believe this was like beginning of december so i'm like okay more than likely he'll be home like the second week of december but like do people not have phones anymore are we not in the digital age why don't you just text your brother and ask but yet <laughs> get this the brothers in the chat both your brothers in the so i'm already texting leonardo and katie i'm like here's that bullshit here's that bullshit i'm talking about here's that bullshit i'm talking about why is it that he's talking about something he gonna ask his brother when his brother's right here in the chat he not answering and where, where the other one at why he not saying shit so katie has a closer relationship with jason and calls jason and apparently jason agrees to come but at the same time he's a little hesitant and he's saying he gonna get back to her it's a whole bunch of back and forth and what do i say what i always say because i'm a capricorn ass bitch i told y'all motherfuckers this wasn't gonna work i don't fucking know this don't sound right at this point we're chasing these niggas it's been a week okay jason hasn't given a definite answer twix has not come back to his with anything and of course hershey is radio silent in the chat so leonardo's in here like boy are y'all going to give us an answer or what y'all acting like y'all gonna get kidnapped like that it was so funny and i'm just like no for real because like you making us feel bad like we didn't we just trying to hang out bro like it's like like we didn't do that like we didn't cause the trouble like we just trying to hang out like just say yes or no it'd be nice if they just said yes we want to come no we don't want to come they said absolutely nothing after that. We didn't hear from that. All of a sudden, I don't remember if it was Leonardo or Katie. One of them talked to Jason. Cause see, it wasn't gonna be me. I don't have time. I don't get to ask. Mom, well, dim ha ash de figi moon. All right. If you guys want to know a really good Haitian phrase, this is a good one. Okay. Ha ash de figi moon, which means you don't buy people's faces. In other words, you don't sit there chasing people's attention, chasing people's friendship, chasing people, kissing ass, doing all. Of, we don't do that. So I'm not. I'm not doing that. You see the fucking chat. Your phone fucking work so they go talk to him he says oh he agrees to come and i'm like oh what a shock like we have a definite yes okay definite yes so now i text him i'm like all right bet so where do you want me to pick you up at you know we start coordinating and essentially i was gonna be nice enough to drive all the way to queens long island wherever the fuck to pick him up and drive all the way down to pa you guys are probably thinking that's way too much work but i wanted to give these people less excuses okay way less excuses than anything to, to show up like I, I didn't want them to be like oh we can't because this my leg broke my tire fell off the fucking car oh jesus came and got me i wanted these people to not be able to use any fucking excuses so i will come and get you it wasn't until leonardo jj and katie's father was like oh you know it'd be easier for him to take the train that apparently i don't know how maybe it got back to jason jason texted me it was like oh i'll just take the train to you it'll be easier and i entertained the idea because i'm like hey saving gas saving time why the fuck not so i live in harris right it's very borderline newark i kid y'all not i walk down the street i'm in newark it's not even down the a couple steps outside my house i'm in newark it's to the point where like if i put in my address it doesn't even say harrison it will automatically put east newark like that's how it don't make fucking sense right so i was like you know what there's a pass station like i live like maybe 20 minutes away from the pass station take the train to the pass station and live right there you're by my house we 
take a straight two hour drive to PA. Bada boom, bada bang. He said, all right, bet. We made the planet every day, y'all. Everything's in text message. Okay, people like that, you don't talk to them on the phone. You don't have FaceTime conversations. You don't, have, you don't even have face to face conversations with them. You have to have the teens with the receipts. So I had to text me side. So now we have Katie. Now Katie, she likes to cook. She's a very loving person. She's a very caring person. And essentially, she's like, oh, what do you guys want to eat? What do you guys want? I'm so excited. Like, da 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 da. Everybody's putting in their little food requests, talking about fucking weed tacos. Listen, everybody putting in their food requests. I wanted mac and cheese and jerk chicken, okay? They, they talk about some other shit. Everybody putting in their food requests. Apparently, they went grocery shopping and everything, okay? Like, this was going to be a situation. It was going to be a vibe. I told you guys, I've not seen these three cousins specifically since that whole situation. I was literally maybe 15 or 16 at the time. So, it, it's like, I was like very, very excited to see them, you know? Like, I was like, oh my god, like, we're finally gonna do this shit. Like, so the days get closer, I get more excited, I'm packing my bags, I'm like talking to everyone about it, like, everybody's like, hey, Vano, you doing anything for the holidays? And I'm like, I'm gonna be with my family, I'm gonna be with my cousins. And you know, it's crazy, because I've always had a mentality that you choose the family that you have, the family that you're given is not necessarily your family unless you make them your family, or you consider them family. But I never realized how my shitty ass family and how they operate is genuinely something that affects me. Like, I never noticed how much it bothers me that these people can't get together to do basic shit. Yo, this video is probably all over the place, so please forgive me. Like, I'm just so fucking annoyed. Ooh, let me just get to the point, right? Day comes, I'm filming, I'm bulk filming my video so I can send to my editor so she has something to do while I'm away. I told Jason, hey, make sure you meet me at the train station by my house one no later 1 30 so i could be in pa 3 30 you know before rush hour before all the stupid ass people come outside i'm filming my videos i'm having a grand old time <laughs> what up what up what up i'm divano's out this is my channel happy holidays my birthday's coming up <laughs> i'm about to pick up my goddamn phone to make sure jason got on the goddamn train now let me just say it was a very cold day that day it was like really really cold like that was the days if you guys remember like leading up to christmas it was like freezing like the whole country was freezing okay so keep that in mind i pick up the phone to text jason and i see i'm not coming anymore sorry you have to be fucking kidding Nigga, what? This is a joke, right? Like, I wanted to cry. Like, I, not like, I was just so mad. Because first of all, it's brick outside. And not only that, there was a snow advisory. Like, a whole, like, stay home, it may snow. Because upstate New York was, like, pummeled with snow, right? Not where he was, though. He was fine where he was at. But, like, I'm talking about, like, Buffalo, upstate New York. So, I'm sitting here just looking at the message, like, what the fuck? My cousins is going crazy. They're all, like, what's going on? What's wrong? What happened? He's not answering. Now we got the adults getting involved. Apparently, we have Katie, Leonardo, and JJ's dad coming to Katie, talking to him, hey, yeah, you know, Twix and Hershey are coming, along with Jason. Katie's like, what the fuck are you talking about? We ain't hear nothing from them. He's like, oh, what time are they coming then? So she's like, I mean, you must know more than me. And I'm just sitting here, she's telling me this, and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? So apparently, he's saying that the, the hit their parents, okay, well, their mother, because their mother is like my godfather, also so his brother was saying that they were gonna come but get this this is why they weren't answering apparently Twix had to go to work and Hershey had track to do so if he did come he'd have to come back like the 26th or the 27th and I was gonna stay till like the 30th or something so that was out for me why couldn't they put that in the chat do you know how frustrating it is to deal with people who don't fucking communicate I don't give a fuck if you're 16 26 88 why can't people communicate I shouldn't even be yelling like this because I'm supposed to be getting my voice ready for a studio <laughs> shameless plug i'm gonna be coming out with music this year but this is insane why couldn't they put we sitting there begging these motherfuckers to answer y'all like i kid y'all not we would be like hey guys are you gonna answer hey guys what's the verdict hey guys are you coming they're not answering why couldn't we have bigger things to worry about why the fuck did jason say he not coming everybody calling jason jason declining calls people texting jason jason ain't answering texts finally katie sits there texts jason i believe he answered he's catching ass to with her oh stop trying to fix shit i'm trying to handle it whatever handle what because we don't know what the fuck is going on parents out here calling us what's going
going on? My mother's going off on me. Why are you not on the road yet? Don't you know it might snow? And I'm like, you're the fucking family. <laughs> Yo, I was so bad. This is my mom's side of the family, by the way. Okay, so I'm telling her, like, your fucking family is fucking nuts. They don't know what they want. They're unprofessional shit. Yes, I said unprofessional because this is ridiculous. I was so mad. Like, I'm like, you're sitting here yelling at me, telling me why I'm not on the road. Well, you should be asking about why I'm not on the road. You should be asking why. Well, you did ask why. But you know what I mean. Don't you want to hear about why? Instead of telling me, get on the road right now. Like, come on now. So I'm just, I'm telling her, like, bro, like, nigga, we, we just got ditched. Like, I'm telling my mother on the phone, we just got ditched, and we're trying to understand why, and I don't know what to do because not only is there a snow advisory, and now it's looking crazy outside, it's pouring. This whole time now, at this point, it's pouring outside. I can hear the rain while I'm filming. It's freezing outside, and on top of that, we don't know if he's gonna come, if he's gonna go. Like, I don't know if he's playing a joke. So I'm like, all right, maybe I'll just stay put for a little bit. I don't know, so my mother sitting there go off on me and i'm just like ma'am it's your family i keep telling you it's your family there's something wrong with these people i've been telling her that for a long time there's something wrong these people don't introduce me to no new people because i don't want to deal with them i don't want to deal with them at all so at this point i'm sitting there just like trying to like gauge the situation like do i wait for him just in case he changes his mind or just in case he happens to be on the train or do i just take what he said at face value like i'm not coming no more fuck it so eventually i think i leave at like three o'clock to get to pa at five he hasn't said anything to anyone at this point the energy a little off katie feels some type of way i feel like leonardo felt some type of way but he wasn't there yet he was at work and then of course you have jj who just he's the life of the party and he's very case -a -ra -sa -ra, you know gemini's they just be like well it is what it is it ain't what it not so he was just chilling right so whatever we we hanging out we're chilling we're talking about earlier we're not understanding what the fuck happened but like we kind of disappointed that we just got ditched by our cousin but we're like you know what fuck it so we trying to make the best of it and then we have Leonardo now the story with Leonardo is a very very long one so I'm just gonna make it short okay so Leonardo does not live in the same house as JJ and Katie he actually moved out and then had his own apartment and then left that apartment to live with his mother long story short he's had very very serious issues with both his parents that led him from mounting from one house to his own house back to his mother's house keep all of that shit in mind it's very important to the story so essentially he would be sleeping at his mother's house so I asked I was like does Leonardo we're gonna plan on sleeping here and we're all listening to each other like oh well we didn't really think about that but I, I would assume he's planning on sleeping here because that was the plan all of us were supposed to be here he gets off at work around 11 o'clock and personally I'm not about to sit up and wait up for you to come like it's just too much work JJ goes and gets Leonardo let's just tell you right now Leonardo doesn't have a car so middle of the night goes and gets him I'm knocked the fuck out Katie's knocked the fuck out and I'm awakened by hair dryer yes ladies and gentlemen loud ass loud Rain, hair dryer and I'm thoroughly perplexed as to where the sound of the hair dryer is coming from because I, I'm, I'm asleep at this point I'm asleep for like at least two hours I open my eyes and apparently it's Leonardo Leonardo is doing his hair Leonardo what the fuck so I'm half sleep I'm kind of waking up like I'm in a daze but I'm like what like what the fuck and then you know he comes says hi to me I, I go back to sleep because I'm about to turn I'll, I'll say hi to you in the daytime time for the shit so whatever everything's going cool everybody's chilling everybody's having fun Katie makes the food but I'm not gonna lie Katie she she had an energy to her which honestly we just got ditched okay we we all kind of had that energy but it was like uh, at this point like what are we gonna do right so she's cooking the food everything is good um and i started catching up with leonardo so like i said me and leonardo he's very very close until he said that i sold my soul essentially you know i, I worshiped the devil and that's how i got very successful <laughs> wasn't having it so the thing is with leonardo leonardo used to make music um he was very popular in his city at one point and then he just essentially i don't know just fell off of that and he's just had a hard time right um he also does have some mental health issues which at this point everybody in my family has mental health issues but his are a lot more serious than other people but lately he's been fine um so in retrospect like I just haven't dealt with him for a while because since we were children he's had main character if you're not giving me attention energy he's always had toxic main character energy now let me just say I have a good amount of friends that have
have main character energy and I love that I have main character energy there's nothing wrong with main character energy but toxic main character energy where you don't let anyone share in the spotlight everything always has to be about you you're always the victim you're never wrong you never take accountability I can't deal with it especially when you're constantly asking me for advice and then I give you the advice and you feel some type of way about that advice I, there's nothing I can fucking do because I'm the type of person I deal with solutions and if you're gonna come to me with a problem I'm going to give you a solution unless you tell me I just want to vent the thing is with him he was a very oh this is happening to me these people are doing this to me this job is always doing it like always in a different job always in a different problem always in differentness because he don't like the way people talk to him he don't like the way people treat him like nigga you sound like a crybaby you know these fucking Aquarius I'm sorry if you're Aquarius but y'all be crybaby as fuck like everything is a fucking problem just I love you so much but she's probably the only Aquarius I know is not like that but like there's too many Aquarius that I know like to bitch cry complain but don't like to go for any solution so anyways I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself like just hearing all of the shit he's telling me and I'm like oh damn I'm just listening like well you need to get it together you know you need to get it together you know I believe you can do it you know he's complaining about his mom now we just gotta pause right here right to make a long story short again he left his father's house because he said his father kept telling him what to do and he didn't like it his father was yelling at him he didn't like his father's attitude his father was telling him to take the trash out you can't make this shit up now goes to the mom's but yeah goes to his own apartment leaves his apartment because of all these extra shit so i'm not gonna tell all his business but this is just the short gist of it now lives with his mother and is basically complaining about his mother telling him what to do again so now i see a pattern you just don't like authority you just don't like people telling you what the fuck to do it, th that that's clearly what your problem is and if you don't like people telling you what the fuck to do go back to living in your own house okay so basically i didn't tell him all of that i was just like clearly you should just live alone like you should just go move out you're making excuses is why you can't move out all of this shit so we're having this conversation katie's quiet on her phone chilling in the corner and i'm peeping it i'm peeping it it's, it's a weird energy now, i'm not gonna get into why she feels some type of way about him or anything like that because it doesn't have anything to do with the story but i didn't notice at the time okay let me just tell you right now i, I found out later okay like way fucking later i didn't know nothing about it I, I don't know so now long story short she felt some type of way about something that they had a situation about already that i'm not gonna divulge she has an attitude I'm not really knowing why she's having an attitude. I thought she was just having that moment. You know how Scorpios, y'all be on y'all little um stuff so i thought she was just having a scorpio moment you feel me like she, she was just you know in her little cave you know you could tell right like you could tell when someone's just being quiet or someone's just having a little moment versus somebody really just don't want to fuck with whatever the fuck is going on so she just sitting there so eventually we move locations so first we were in the kitchen and then we went up to katie's room and i'm laying on her bed we have leonardo laying on her bed and then she's sitting on the chair she said she wasn't feeling well leonardo you can sit in the chair and um i want to lay on my bed I'll all of a sudden Leonardo gets up and leaves the room we're confused we're perplexed so Katie texts him and she's like hey I didn't mean to leave I said you could sit in the chair I just wanted to lay on my bed he's like oh I'm tired you know I needed a nap so let's walk it back a little bit that conversation we were having in the room was basically a continuation of the conversation we were having downstairs man I need to get out that house my mother's doing this my mother's doing that I don't like this shit this is getting on my nerves like literally just all of this shit at this point I'm just listening and I was like you know what y'all all need to get it together i was like you know because all of them have different aspirations that they truly want to do but they're just not doing it and all they do is make excuses okay it's like bro like all y'all do is act like oh i can't do this because i live in pa like literally that's all i fucking hear it's like i don't know why people in pa hate pa so much like it's insane but anyway so i'm just like man you just gotta go for it you just gotta go for it right so he sees that basically katie is like not fucking with him not feeling him so he goes over and he tries to like hug on her and she's like come on get off get off i'm like man leonardo get off her like you know we all laughing about it like ha 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 like get off her ha 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 so whatever that's when he laid back down and she was like hey could you come sit in the chair i want to leave my bed boom so he walks out she texts him he's like oh um it's okay i want to come back i just wanted to take a nap i was tired did y'all hear what i said keep that whole scenario in your head y'all know how cutthroat i am y'all know how direct i am but i know that since mr leonardo said i sold my soul i don't give a fuck if he apologized or whatever type of state of mind he was in that that's probably really some way somehow how he feels about me and even if that's not what he thinks I did he feels some type of way about my success therefore when he's talking to me about all of these issues I mainly just sat there and listened and just kept my generic oh well maybe you should leave if you don't want to be there because what else do you want me to say to you because everything that I've ever said to you has been taken as a personal attack okay so I just was like oh damn 
And then when he was all over her, all over Katie, I was just like, ha ha ha, man, get off her, ha ha, get off her. And she was saying the same thing, like, oh my god, get off me, stop. You know how like siblings be playing, whatever. So now the next day, he sleeps until maybe 3 p.m. Same as JJ. They both sleep until 3 p.m. And I decide that I wanted to go see my godmother. My godmother is also their mother, okay? My godmother is JJ, Katie, and Leonardo's mom. And their mom and dad is divorced. So currently, we are in the house in PA that I was referencing, which is their father's house, and the mother lives somewhere else, which is where Leonardo lives. Okay, now I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, why didn't we just wake up Leonardo and take him home? Why didn't we just tell him we were going over there? So here's the thing, right? Leonardo's the type of person you wake then he go up in his sleep, he feels the type of way. Leonardo's the type of person you try to wake him up in his sleep, he probably not even gonna fucking wake up. Leonardo's the type of person to just take mad long to get ready and all this. I don't got time. And we didn't really know if her mom was like free or not. She was going to work like I think it was either Christmas Eve or Christmas I don't remember he kept calling their mom their mom wasn't picking up and it was like I just hopped out the shower and I was like shit what are we gonna do today and my cousin Katie was like yo we might as well go see um my mom and I was like oh I bet we might as well do that it was like kind of like spur in the moment it's not like we being like oh let's go see her on this day and leave Leonardo it wasn't even like that and we go over there now here's a little story with that mother also doesn't really fuck with Leonardo like that they both kind of the whole relationship that y'all see my mom and my cousin exhibit is very similar similar to the whole situation of Leonardo and his mother. It's really, really bad. They don't say hi to each other. They barely talk to each other, but for whatever reason, she has to drive him to work and they tolerate each other. So I guess there's some sort of respect there. So it's like, uh, and you guys are probably wondering why is he always getting driven places? He don't got a car. So it's, he hasn't had a car for like over a year. Like you're too old to not have a car in somebody PA. PA is not no place where there's corner stores. You can just walk over there to get a fucking bodega sandwich, my nigga. Like you need a car to live in PA. And mind you guys, I did not say that to him. I'm being nice to this video and I was being nice to his face. I ain't saying none of that shit to him, right? We go over there, we're chopping it up, we're talking. All of a sudden, I'm getting text messages from JJ. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? JJ's like, oh, um, I don't know why, but Leonardo looked mad. And I'm like, why Leonardo mad for? Like, why? What happened? Now, this is nothing uncommon. Leonardo be having these moments where he just be upset, where he just be mad, where he just sat, all of this shit. He don't say nothing to nobody, all right? And they're like, oh, he's like, I don't know, but he just went downstairs to go talk to our dad now all of a sudden jj talk was like oh i hear our dad talking shit i'm gonna need him to say that shit to my face yes these are haitians we're talking about and yes gen z gen x gen whatever the fuck is wallet but <laughs> i was like uh don't do that don't go picking a fight with your dad that's rude that's disrespectful like i'm sitting here like uh no don't do that just leave it alone like i'm texting and i'm telling katie like i think something's going on in the house i don't know what's going on but something's going on now so i'm sitting there like okay i like okay he probably feels the type of way that we like came all the way over here but but like we're not gonna wake you up in your sleep you're sleeping till 3 p.m at this point like you want to sleep okay so we're not gonna wake you up i'm like I don't, I don't know what the fuck so apparently he then texts me again like mind you the whole time we're texting he's like oh he's on his way to you he had one of my friends drop him off i told y'all to keep the fact that jj a little life of the party in mind because it don't make sense jj why do you have your friends over while your brother's over a brother that you rarely associate with that you could be spending time trying to get to know you sit there you fucking bring your friends over like why would you do that like i was so i was so i'm like why you i don't know why i don't know it, it shouldn't sound weird to anybody that this is just strange because like anybody with common courtesy and just respect should know if you have family over you don't bring friends over unless it's already planned that the friends are coming over and being part of the celebration with the family but, like you don't just sit there and bring bobo shit friends over to your house like you don't do shit like that and this is what i realized is probably his trauma response to everything that's happened in the family is that he just be all up under his friends like this nigga is so damn all up under friends that like literally i guarantee you if he wanted to move out today he will have at least four or five friends not even friends their parents willing to take him in and that's a really good thing to have friends in high places but at the same time it's problematic when you can't let go of your friends to hang out with your fucking family like that's your brother your brother's right there and you're sitting here so i'm looking at the message and i'm like what i'm confused so basically his friends came over it looks or seems as if he felt some type of way and he asked one of his friends to drop him off at his mother's house where me and katie were so we're just like oh shit but we're like wait why the fuck did you ask one of the friends and you didn't just ask your brother first of all that's embarrassing second of all that's extra third of all what the fuck this nigga pulls up he comes into the house we are sitting we are talking to their mother this nigga marches up the stairs doesn't say a word to nobody no hi no bye no nothing he doesn't even acknowledge that we there mind you he didn't 
even have a key. So Godmother, aka their mother, had to go open the door for him. You would think he said something to her or acknowledged us. No, he literally marched right the fuck up them steps and they say shit to us. Close the door and everything. So I'm just sitting here like, okay, someone's mad, but what the fuck did anybody do? So I'm like, it could be an array of things. It could be the fact that JJ got Club JJ going on with all his fucking friends. It could be the fact that maybe he didn't like the fact that I told him to move out, but he knows he should fucking move out. It could be the fact that basically Katie got a whole attitude booted Joel in the corner. I don't know, but nonetheless, none of that warrants the way he acted. So whatever, finish that conversation up with their mother. I go upstairs and I knock on his door because at this point, I don't know if he's coming back. I don't know if he is upset. I don't know what's going on. I just want to knock on the door to say bye because this is another thing. Oh, I forgot to mention this. We were not aware when he was going to go back home or when he had work because he never even told us anything like that. So that's another reason we didn't tell him like, hey, we're going back to your house. Do you want to come? Because it was like, damn, are you leaving today? Are you leaving tomorrow? Are you leaving the next day? Because like, yeah. So that's another reason. So I knock on his door. This nigga going to say, I'm on the phone. You know when people are on the phone, you can hear someone clearly having a conversation. Hey, yeah, I was good. Da, da, da. You know, you can hear a little bit of a call back. This, this nigga wasn't on the fucking phone. If he was on the phone, that was a very quiet motherfucking conversation. And he didn't even wait. It was like, I, I'm on the phone. Is that what we're going to do? Now you're catching an attitude with me. What the fuck did I do to you? I'm like, you know what? Niggas drove all the way, like literally two and a half hours from Jersey to PA to be with y'all motherfuckers. Y'all acting fucking stupid. So I was like, you know what? Whatever. Left. I even texted him. I'm like, you okay? He said, yeah. I said, I don't know. You look a little mad. I think he left me all red. I don't have time for your goofy shit. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not chasing you. What did I just teach you guys today? We don't kiss ass. We don't chase people. So whatever. We leave. We go back to the house and we ask their father what the fuck happened. We're like, yo, hey, yo, what's good? What's going on? Like, what's up with Leonardo? We was just at the other house and he pulled up and he didn't even say nothing to us. Like, he's acting mad weird. Oh, he said he was sick of y'all attitude. Specifically, me and Katie's attitude. Now, this is the thing. I kid y'all not. God, strike me down if I'm lying. This conversation that me and Leonardo had was so fucking peaceful. There was no yelling. There was no animosity. I, there was no inclination that he felt some type of way. He didn't say nothing. And mind you, there's been times I got into it with him. And you could tell he's upset. So I'm just like, and I didn't even say what I really want to say to him. Like I said, I sat there, I listened. And I looked at Katie and I'm like, I mean, you were just sitting in the corner. But at the same time, you didn't say nothing to him. So I, I could see where he would say she had an attitude because she did look mad sitting in the corner. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, someone could be mad if they want to. That's not giving you an attitude. Giving you an attitude would be if you asked her something and she actually gave you an attitude. Or like, you know, she was actually looking at you or being away towards you. She wasn't necessarily being away towards you. She just kind of sat in the corner. I will say maybe it might have rubbed him the wrong way. But it was, y'all, what I'm telling y'all, I was so fucking confused. And if I did say something to him, y'all know damn well how I am. I would have been like, y'all, I said he was a this, this, that, and third. And he needed this, this, that, and whatever. But that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. Like, I was thoroughly perplexed, y'all. Like, I, I did not understand. Yo, we're trying to wrap our heads around it. We're all sitting here talking. We're trying to understand what the fuck. And we're just like, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. All of a sudden, their dad comes back and tells us, oh, we need to be nicer to Leonardo. Leonardo has gone through a lot. And he's going through a lot in his mother house. So, you know, he comes here to seek solitude. And we can't be going off on him. And I'm like, nobody went off on him. Like, nobody said anything to him. Like, nigga, we had a conversation about his life. He literally went to sleep. Nobody had any, like, nigga, what? And also, this whole dynamic between Leonardo, JJ, and, and Katie is just problematic because like their parents think that Leonardo needs to be taken care of but Leonardo is the older sibling okay Leonardo is the oldest and he acts like he can't do anything for himself point blank period and that's coming from my mouth okay like that's just the way it is and apparently that's what the parents think too because they say they're like oh we need to be nicer we need to this and I'm like get the fuck out of here you know so at this point you got Katie and, and JJ going off they're upset they're mad and it gets so bad that JJ ends up having a mental breakdown and he's trying to leave the house at like fucking one two o'clock in the morning because of this mental breakdown and at this point first of all let me just also point out their father's extremely problematic okay their father's extremely problematic that's for a whole nother video for another time but it was as if he was enjoying making him cry and i'm just like what the fuck and then i had like and after all of that he's sitting there we, we go upstairs we're trying to comfort jj he's sitting there trying to come back in the room to antagonize jj i'm sitting here trying to hold him back from coming in the room i had to call his wife like yo come get your mans come collect because what the fuck so at this point i'm mad it was to the point where katie had to take my phone 
because I was about to call this nigga and go to fuck off. I was about to call Leonardo like you started a whole bunch of shit. Because you want to sit there and act like a fucking baby. You don't know how to open your fucking mouth. You don't know how to vocalize when something's fucking wrong with you. All of this mess is going on. We don't know what the fuck happened. We don't know what the fuck we did. We don't know what the fuck triggered him. But whatever the fuck is going on, you need to open your mouth. Because this is absolutely ridiculous. We should not be going through this bullshit right now. I had to get my phone taken away. Whatever. A day or two passed. And we're still sitting here trying to wrap our heads around what the fuck happened. So finally... I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna call him. Because this is growth. Growth and communication are key. But that doesn't mean that you're gonna get what the fuck you want and what the fuck you need out of the fucking conversation, guys. I was gonna text that nigga and be like, if you have something to say, say it to our fucking face. Because from what I understand, he changed his story three times. First, he said it was me and Katie's attitude. Then he said it was just Katie's attitude. And then all of a sudden, it's just, oh, we're doing this, we're doing that. So I'm like, you know what? If you have something to say, say it to our fucking face. I was literally about to text that. But then I said, you know what? The father, their father's problematic as fuck. And he could probably just be saying whatever the fuck but at the same time this isn't his character so you know what we're gonna call him called him he didn't answer i was guessing he was at work so i texted him i said call me when you're free so he calls when he's free and i said what's good i'm good no 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 no. i mean what's good because it's coming to a point where you've caused all this drama there's all this shit going on you've been having an attitude and i need to understand what the problem is because we're hearing that you're saying this that and the third about how we treated you and how we did this that and the third to you but we did absolutely nothing to you so what's the problem this man said that i told him doesn't he have a house to go to what i literally i was like what i said that he was like yeah uh, when we was in the room mind you couldn't even fucking speak straight fuck at this point you just making shit up that shit pissed me off oh well we was in the room you said don't i have a home to go to we didn't even have a fucking conversation that warranted me saying that and plus i don't even talk like that so point out when i said that oh i don't remember bro i don't remember but like i just thought it was best to keep my distance you know boundaries I said, listen, when you have a problem, address that shit. Because now you're causing a whole lot of fucking extra problems. Like, that's literally what I said. I said, you're causing problems. You're doing too much. If you thought that's what I said to you, you should have addressed it in the moment. Because I know I didn't say that to you. However, if that's what I said or the gist of what I said or that's how you took it, you should have addressed it. Instead of holding it in, doing all of this extra things. Now, people out here having mental breakdowns and getting lectures about shit that doesn't even make sense. Yeah, you right, you right, you right. Yeah, I should have just addressed that. Yeah, next time I'll just address it. You know, I'm gonna be back there Friday. You know, you won't be there. So, oh, no, no, I ain't gonna be there. I'm done with y'all. Like, no, like, th this is what I'm telling y'all. At this point, I was so fucking fed up. Niggas got ditched. Now I'm getting lectured. And now my cousin's having mental breakdowns because your bitch ass. No, I'm good, boy. You ain't gonna see me. Well, Pop when? I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't have time for this goofy shit. Like, this is ridiculous. So, I ended up leaving early. I, I, I left that Wednesday and I was supposed to leave that. Friday. I uh, nope, two days early. That's fine. We out. And sadly, there was a whole slew of other issues after that. Um, not even with that, just with, with my cousin and shit, which I'm about to film. So that was how my Christmas went. Okay, family mess. Okay, just, just family mess. Like, if you guys are dealing with a similar situation where your family can't fucking cooperate, please comment down below. For those of you guys who have lovely families, you're fucking lovely. Okay, because my family can't even get together for one simple thing without it being a fucking problem. Like, it's just so disappointing. And I never noticed how much that shit really does affect me until last year i guess um and i'm just done trying because at this point i'm like wasting my fucking time and i'm wasting my fucking breath um even though i kind of knew some bullshit was gonna happen it is what it is so with that being said, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that. Thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. It's deeply appreciated. And I'm going to see y'all next time. Bye!